moment I'm running this on the top of the range iPad so it's an iPad Pro but I've also got an iPad 2 which runs Cubasis really well but every now and then when I'm using some of the more memory intensive instruments like for instance we've got the micro log too many instances of this might actually cause a CPU overload now to compensate for this the developers have put in this freeze function inside of Cubasis which is not just handy because we can freeze particular tracks, but also with stuff like inter-app audio and using external effects using something like audio bus, we can also freeze all of the external effects that we have over the top of the track. So for instance, up here, I've got a marimba track. Now the marimba track is using JamUp, which is an external app. So you can see I can click on it and bring the app up. But sometimes using too many effects, of course, it can also be memory intensive. So to freeze the track, all I need to do is go to the marimba track. I'm just squeezing up with my fingers to enlarge the track list. And now we've got this little icon down in the bottom left hand corner of the marimba track. And I simply click on that and it says freezing. And it's saying freezing track two. And there you go. That's that's done in a matter of seconds. So now that track is frozen. So it's almost like it's rendered to an audio track. And now that track will be acting as an audio track and it won't be taking up valuable CPU space. So not necessarily something you need to be doing all the time if you've got a newer iPad, but it's a feature that's built in so that if you're using an older iPad, you can basically maintain and, uh, and run your CPU at a level that's going to allow you to have more tracks overall. When you're finished, let's say you want to edit again, you can simply go back and unfreeze the marimba track and it'll say track three has been modified. By unfreezing this track, the changes made on track three are lost and the project may sound different. Of course, that's going to happen if you've made any changes while the track is actually frozen. So you can hit OK to lose those changes or hit cancel. I'm gonna hit okay because basically I didn't make any changes.